Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Los. Um, just wanted to uh, make this upload uh, this video to let you guys know what's going on. Um, I haven't uh, uploaded a video in nearly maybe four months. I was trying to hold off to give you guys more of a wow factor um, with you know with the development of Barlock. I didn't want to keep posting so much. Um, Unfortunately, um, last Saturday, on the 26th of May, uh, my boy Barlock uh, passed away. Um, I had no other choice but to put him down um, due to the rectal prolapse that he'd been dealing with since he was four months old. I did everything I could. Um, took him to the hospital four times for the same thing. Um, in, in different times, and, um, it was just crazy. Um, the first time that happened, if you guys go back on the videos, he was about four months old. Um, it was about $800 to fix. Um, the second time, uh, it was free because I kind of argued with the hospital, letting them know, you know, I said that maybe they took the sutures out too fast. They told me that that was not the reason, that it was just going to keep happening. But I, I kept arguing with them about it. And... Um, they giving me the benefit of the doubt. They said, okay, you know what, we're going to do it only this time. And they did. They, they fixed him up, um, put sutures on him again. And two weeks later, a little over two weeks later, boom, it happened again. Couldn't argue with them no more, you know. So took him back the third time, another eight, about $700. Uh, then it happened again a few months later. Um, we had figured out how to fix it um, whenever it did happen. We would just push it in, uh, just put some light pressure, and it would pop right in, and he was fine. He allowed us to do it, and, you know, we just figured, hey, if they were going to have to live with this with him, then, it, well, it is what it is, you know? Um, well, on May 25th, which was a Friday, um, he woke up with very, very bad diarrhea. I mean, it was overwhelming. Uh I would take him out. He was just straining, diarrhea, and I was just like, what the hell is going on? I mean, I haven't changed his food. Everything's been fine. Just yesterday, he had very nice, perfectly solid stool. So it was kind of like, there's no reason for him to have a diarrhea right now. I don't get it. Um, well, I brought him back in the house. Man, I mean, he was pooping everywhere in here, you know, um, and he couldn't, he couldn't help it. Um, he was straining a lot. I would put him in the crate. Um, I figured, you know what, I'm not going to feed him no more for the day. I'm going to fast him and, you know, just keep him dehydrated because all that diarrhea is going to dehydrate him and everything. He just pooping crazy in the crate, you know, and I was just like, wow, man, this is this is crazy. Well, around 11, 11 or so in the morning, um, he prolapsed. It popped, you know what I mean? It popped back out. Well, um, I fixed it. I mean, you know, I... I I pushed it in, but it took me longer than the normal. It took me about five minutes. Um, it was just, it was a little bit more out than it normally was. So it took me a little longer, and he didn't fight me, but he, you know, he was, he didn't really like it too much, but but he didn't fight me, you know, so I still got it done. So I was like, okay, well, this is another one of those episodes, you know, it's going to be something crazy. Uh, I figured it was going to be going on throughout the rest of the day because of a diarrhea. Um, well... Later on that night, on uh, on Friday, um, around 10 o'clock or so, um, 11-ish or something like that, um, he prolapsed again. And this time, it was pretty crazy. Like, he strained really bad. And, and, and man, I'd say about four, four inches, maybe a little more, um, stuck out out of his butt. And it was all, you know, it's, it's you know, it's like... Uh, it's crazy, you know what I mean? It's just sad. It's sad to see that. And, um, you know, we try to see, you know, we try to see what we could do because obviously, I mean, you know, pulling out another $800 out of nowhere, you know, it's, it's kind of tough, you know. Um, and we try to figure out what we could do. Uh, my wife and I was maybe even looking at, you know, on the bully pages to see if any breeder locally or, you know, uh, somebody... You know, that maybe has the means, you know, could do, go ahead and, you know, take them and, and, and fix them up and keep them. You know what I mean? If, because they have the means. And, you know, not only that, but the, the, the doctor had told us that, 
you know, the only way to fix it, well, not a complete fix, but it would have been a surgery. They would have cut that, um, you know, uh, you know, what was hanging out and did some, whatever it is that they do. And, you know, but, but it wouldn't guarantee that it would never happen again. And that would cost around 4000 or 45 Um I don't have the money for that right now. If I did, it would have been a wrap. He would have got it done immediately. Um, but then again, um, like they said, it was still not guaranteed that it would stop it. <clears throat> so it was kind of sad. I tried to figure out what ways to try to preserve his life. And, and even though, even if he wouldn't have been with me, but at least I would have known he would have been in better hands, um, you know, when it came to maybe having funds uh, to keep him alive. Um it was very tough. It was a very, very tough call. Uh, you know, he kept trying to sit and, and, and drag his butt because he felt like he had, you know, like, you know, shit hanging out his butt. You know what I mean? But so it was it was a fighting thing because we try to keep him, you know, keep standing, stop moving around so much. You know, he's not bleeding a lot, but it's still like, a, you know, his like an intestine hanging out. You know what I'm saying? I got a little girl here and, you know, it's just. You know, he's like pooping, leaking everywhere. You know what I mean? It's just a horrible situation. Um, and, you know, so we're trying to, you know, watch ourselves too to make sure that we don't get no type of infection because you never know, right? So, um, you know, we ended up having to, uh, you know, take him to the hospital. Um, once we took him there, um, you know, it, we took about an hour or so um, figuring out, trying to figure out what to do, the right, the right decision, whether we are going to take him to the hospital, put him down, or we are going to find somebody. We had a couple people message us and, you know, that were thinking about taking them, but they were in North Carolina and um, one of them, Richmond, Virginia, which is about two hours away. And at the end of the day, they were just kind of like, uh, you know, we can't or whatever. But I appreciate their interest to at least, you know, think about it, you know. So, um, you know, long story short, we had to take them in and, you know, it was the toughest, toughest thing ever, man. Like, wow, I just couldn't believe it. Um, I've never had to put a dog down in my life um, as a kid. Um, I had pets, I had dogs, but I was too young to really realize what's going on. Um, and I never had to put them down either. We, my father gave them away or, you know, whatever. But um, a pet that I actually cared for from since a baby, raise them, you know, have them with me, build that bond. It was something I've never, ever had in my life. I was a very, very proud owner of a bully. He was my first bully, um, and his energy will be completely missed here. Um, like, I mean, what could I tell you? I mean, this shit is just, it killed me. It killed me. Um, you know, so we had to put him down. Um, um, unfortunately, uh, there was no other choice. Um, they asked me if I wanted to go back there. They asked my wife and I if I wanted to go back there and be there with him. But I was a coward, man. I couldn't do it. Um, he, you know, he was still wagging his tail in the, in, in the room there. You know, he didn't know what was going on, you know. And he's just being barlock, you know. He's happy and crazy, you know what I mean. He's just energized, you know what I mean. And I, I just said, you know what, I want to see him like that the last time. I don't want to see him laying down. I don't want to see when he takes his last breath. I said, you know what, I just want to see him wag his tail, I'm going to give him a big hug, I'm going to let him know I love him, give him a kiss, and bam. I just thought about, you know, leaving him there, you know. It was tough. <clears throat> I appreciate all you guys that have reached to me, you know, reached out to to me, whatever, my family. Really much appreciated, you guys, for real. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave it as that, you guys. Salute to everybody. Keep it bully. Um, when I'm ready, I would definitely get back in the game and have a, you know, have another one, you know, and, 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 you know, just do my homework a little more of where I'm getting them from. So salute to you, salute to everybody. Thank you so much. And may Barlock, Barlock rest in peace, man, for real. He was the greatest. Thank you, you guys. Peace.